What is up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today we are doing my Scentsy empties for the month of November. So the reason I like to discuss these empties with you is because as Scentsy addicts, we love to hear about Scentsy, but it actually helps you guys decide if something's gonna work for you when you watch people's videos and hear their experience and their perceptions. So let's get into it. We're gonna do the non-wax items first because I feel like I have a lot of bulky items and I just wanna talk to you about those first. The first thing I picked out was a counter clean in Mandarin and Mango Nectar. I really like this scent. I really like the scent in Counter Clean and I really like this nozzle. This nozzle was slightly different, although I did find it did kind of like drip a little bit, but it, it really sprayed it out really well. And I don't know if it was just a limited time nozzle from back when, you know, they were having trouble getting certain products, but yeah, I really like this one. And you can use that on a lot of different things. It's a great product. If you haven't tried Counter Clean, uh, there's some new scents in the uh, festive clean bundles. You can actually go and check those out there. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is my winterberry apple tea sugar scrub. Now inside here, I'm just going to tell you there is quite a bit of oil left. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what happened if I just kind of, when I stirred, I didn't do a great job and I got lots of granules, but now there's lots of oil left and no granules. So I thought what I'd do is maybe when my husband has a bath, I would put this in the just dump this oil in the water. It just really helps nourish the skin. And as a side note, when I was a kid, I remember once we were getting our family photos taken, and I didn't realize because you're stupid when you're a kid, I put baby oil in the bathtub and then I washed my hair. So my mom came up, when I came out, my mom said, "Go, aren't you gonna go have a bath? And I'm like, I did. I think it took about eight washes <laughs> with shampoo to even get my hair semi-normal looking and it still looked terrible, so. Make sure you tell your kids, don't wash your hair if you put something oily in the tub. So I finished up a Johnny Appleseed dish soap. What I usually use certain dish soaps for is hand soap. So I just, uh, you know, I squirt them into old Scentsy bottles or bottles that you can get at department stores. And I like to use this because it makes two eight ounce containers and it's less expensive than buying Scentsy's hand soap. And also you can get scents that you like. And as I've said before, if you're gonna wash your dishes and your hands are in the dishwater, I'm sure it's fine to wash your hands with it. So I finished up two bulbs and it seems like bulbs go quickly at times. So just make sure you have backups. One thing I think is cute is Karen from Australia. She always calls these globes. And I think that's so cute. Just the differences in, you know, the way we speak. In one of my videos recently, I talked about craft dinner and some people were like, what's craft dinner? So craft dinner is craft macaroni and cheese, but in Canada it's known as craft dinner. So it's just, and in other countries is known as craft macaroni and cheese. It's just the way it's marketed. So we finished up two Scentsy soaps. Well, I should say my husband and my son, not really so much me, but appleberry. Th this one had notes of uh, crimson apple, pomegranate, and cranberry. I really like this. And I hope they bring this out in wax in region one, which is North America, Canada. But we'll see, we will see because that one was released in another region, I believe region two or three or both. But uh, that one I would definitely repurchase in the soap, even though my husband said he wasn't blown away by it. I personally liked it because I did use it a couple of times and I would like to see it in wax. This one I haven't waxed. I've never warmed actually, it's Best Berry. So this one has notes of raspberry, strawberry and sponge sugar. I'm not looking forward to the wax if the wax smells like this. I just, I wasn't a fan of this. It's very, very perfumey. So this came out with the Valentine's Day collection. I think I have three bars of wax. So I am gonna give it a shot. I have it in the, you know, to try to get to it soon, but I think scent appeal for me is just not good for that one. Now this is one of my favorite products. It is sh sugar hand cream. Now this is a discontinued hand cream. This is a discontinued scent. However, this scent is coming back in the Bring Back My Bar and wax. So definitely give it a try. It's lemon drops and cotton candy. Now, one thing I wanna point out is this is a really nice consistency. There are a few hand creams that are just slightly less thick. This one is very thick, but all Scentsy's hand creams, they soak in well and they're not greasy. It's one of my favorite products from them. And I just wanna draw your attention. I don't think you'll probably be able to see it with the lighting. But up here, there's sets of numbers. And this one has two, three, nine, four, five. And I have another Scentsy hand cream. Let me pause the video and I'll grab it. Okay, so I'm back. So the one that I finished is Two, three, nine, four, five. I have another sugar, which is one, five, seven, two, two. So I believe that this is the order of products as they are made. So you should go through your hand creams 
and check and see what that number is because you want to use the ones with the lowest number first because technically I believe those are the oldest. So for instance, um, Amazon Rain has been dis discontinued. This one has 31733 and shortly after that, Satin Sheets, 33081. And I have some newer ones and they are much higher in numbers, like 65,000. So yes, go and check your hand creams. If you have multiple ones, check the numbers and use the oldest ones first. Well, what I think is the oldest ones. I'm not sure, but I'm going with it. In laundry, I only have one. I, I brought this out just to show you I'm now using Cloudberry Dreams. As a sneak peek, I hate the smell of the scent as it's like coming out of the tub and when you're taking the clothes out. I really, it's not for me, but once the clothes are dry, it's actually pretty nice. So I'm still going to give it a chance. I'm kind of undecided if it's a repurchase or not, but I have an old tub of Washer Whiffs Sea Salt and Avocado. This is the smaller size tub. Washer Whiffs are little granules you put inside your washer drum and they help as a scent booster. So they're not intended to wash your clothes. So my advice is always put the laundry soap in first and then put this in because some people forget <laughs> they put this in and forget to put the they get uh, they get all excited when they smell this because it's so good and then they forget to put soap yeah this is really nice it's a green perfumey scent very fresh and spa like and really nice all right this is a complete dud <laughs> since he does have some duds i'm not crazy about their car bars they're kind of inconsistent for me personally this one was rarely a bad one for me it was apricot vanilla it barely had any scent and it I, I struggled to smell it and I struggled for it to even smell for any amount of time. And I remember day one or two, I asked my daughter, do you smell anything? And she's like, not really. So probably just not me. This was in the older packaging. So maybe go through your car bars and try to use them up. That's an inherently light scent. It's got like apricots and um, peaches and vanilla. So it is a light scent in general. I have three oils. We'll talk briefly. The new ones uh, from the, that are currently available, I have White Lavender Mint. This was actually pretty nice. I enjoyed this even though I'm not a big lavender fan. I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I wasn't, you know, mad at it. But yeah, it's minty and it's lavender. So if you like that combination, pick this up. Relaxing for a bedroom. All right, the next, and I, I actually emptied out a little tin and I use, I use this to put my oils in. Uh, sea Salt and Lotus is the other one that's currently available. I'm not huge into this scent. I, I would not repurchase this. It's okay. It's light. It's salty. It smells like the sea. <laughs> There's not much to say. It's a fresh type of diffuser oil. So if you like those, you'll probably like that one. This one I do really enjoy. And I find in real life wax life, I don't gravitate towards fruity scents, especially berries. Um, and I'm, not, I'm not sure why, but in oils, I tend to love those. So this is orange strawberry melon. Love this one. Love, love. And it's orange. Mmm, it's such a nice combination. I love this. Of course, it's discontinued, but I think I have a large bottle. This is a good little worker. So, all right, let's talk about pods. I have, I've gone through and dated all my pods. So this is from June 2020. So I'm trying to go through some old ones. I have Tropic Tango. This one, I believe it has, it has like a mandarin mango type feel, very tropical, kind of similar to uh, mandarin and mango nectar, a little different. Uh, this was strong out of the gate and fairly long lasting at the beginning and then just kind of dipped down dramatically. I had this going in Ryan's room in a Sensi Go. These are waxless systems, so if you're not sure what pods are, it's just little beads inside these canisters and a form of air is pushed up through. So you could use Sensi Go, mini fan diffuser, wall fan diffuser, or if you have it, you can put them in air purifier. Anyway, I finished up a baked apple pie from October 2019. This was not a good performer and it might be the age, but basically it's like a sweet apple with a lot of, like a lot of cinnamon. Now the, the pods didn't seem to be as heavy on the cinnamon and they're lighter in general. So I'm wondering if when you uh, mix the pod scent, maybe there's crust, uh, apple, cinnamon, and you get a be better representation of kind of like the baseline and you don't get layers. So that crust, which sometimes I feel kind of can dilute or modify a sense intensity might have creeped in and made it feel light or it could just be that it's old all right this one i don't have the date but this is obviously old pineapple coconut vanilla this was actually a really good little performer so i'm not sure and this in, in wax is a very light scent so great in the pods it was really nice my husband loves the scent in the soak so i i really like that it did great in pods i don't know where the pods are but they're missing but 
I like that one quite a bit. And Blueberry Cheesecake from 2018, October 2018. These were not out for very long in pods. They were short-lived. Uh, it's okay. They, they did okay. They were like medium to light. My daughter, every time she got in the car, she said, the car smells disgusting. <laughs> the car smells disgusting. I picked them up from skating, her and her friend. I said, well, what do you think, Rebecca? And Rebecca's like, well, it's okay. <laughs> She's so diplomatic. But yes, blueberry cheesecake is not a big love in my family. However, they do like the scent circle, so go figure. Okay, so that wraps up the non-wax items. Let's talk about wax. I usually sort everything so I can go in an organized fashion, but I'm living dangerously and I'm just going to grab and go. I am going to try to grab the new releases or current scents or limited time offer scents first, and then we'll kind of taper off. I did go through quite a bit of things that are currently available. So the first one is Jeweled Pomegranate. This was a scent of the month from, I think it was November of last year, and it's made its way into the catalog. The scent notes are pomegranate, sugared mandarin, and cinnamon. I don't get a lot of cinnamon. There's just a kiss. And this is getting good reviews in the body line, and I have not tried it, and I probably won't because I have a lot to use up. So if it comes around next year, I might get around to trying it. On, on, in wax form, it's, it's okay for me. Like I just said, I'm not huge into berry scents. So scent appeal is okay. Doesn't turn me off, but I don't reach for these type of scents. I do find that the performance varies for me. There's times where I find it very long lasting and times where I don't. So usually in that situation, it's one of two things. It's the, per the perception, which is, I am not picking up on it. I am having st struggles. Or it's sometimes the temperature of the room. If you've normally warmed a scent, and you are struggling to smell, it's either your nose, you've got a nose blind, or it could be the temperature of the room. So just make sure your rooms aren't too hot or too cold. If it's, especially if it's too cold, you might need to raise the temperature just a touch to pick up on scents. Alrighty, the next one from the scents of the season is Cookies for Santa. This is baked sugar cookie, brown sugar, and milk. Now this is a great performing vanilla-based scent. Scent appeal is hit or miss for a lot of people. For me, uh, there's a, a little bit of a note that I don't like. I don't know if I pick it up as sour. I pick it up more as chemical, but it's one of those scents that some people smell, some people don't. So if you're kind of nervous about the scent and you can afford to try it, then maybe give it a try. But this one, like I said, an excellent performer. You definitely get the brown sugar, you get the cookie. So that one has mixed reviews. This one, probably a little bit as well, Dark and Devious from the Villains Collection. This is Black Pepper Star Anise cinnamon, smoked absinthe, and hemlock. So this one is, it's funny. I warmed this for Tester Tuesday. I thought it was okay. It smelled like plum, deep heavy plum, or something like that with a smoky influence and a lot of savory spices. Now, it was okay. I didn't hate on it. I wouldn't have repurchased it. I put this to finish off in my garage. I don't know what happened there. It's cold in the garage. So Maybe certain notes didn't come out, but this smelled poisonous and disgusting there. If I had warmed, if this had smelled the way it smelled in the garage, in other parts of my house, I would never have even wanted to warm it again. So it's still sitting in the garage in the dish. I haven't turned it back on. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, why do you have warm scents in your garage? Well, usually I put things there that I don't really want to smell just to get rid of them. Maybe it's something that I don't want to give away because I'm not sure if people will like it. And I do like to warm things. I don't give up on them. I like to give you guys feedback. So that's that's why. <laughs> it's fairly strong and long, longevity is about average, I would say. Those type of scents usually have a lot of base notes. They do carry through. So they probably would be long lasting, but perhaps I'd just give up on it too soon. All right, my hero. This is a lovely one. Cool citrus, white birch, crisp air. I absolutely love this one. I love it. It's a great masculine scent. Scent appeal for me is very high and it's very long lasting at about a medium level intensity. All right, we have Eucalyptus Wreath. This is a new release this year in the fall and winter. Where are the notes on this? Fresh Eucalyptus, Juniper and Frosted Mint. So a few people have asked, how does this compare to Icicles at Evergreen? This is more like medicinal herbal grounded type scent and icicles and evergreen is more sweet and there's a lot of layers in that one this one I find maybe a little more straightforward still nice um not one that I would stock up on personally I think I have two more bars but uh, that will be plenty for me performance was about medium to medium light depending on where I warmed it 
it doesn't, these type of scents for me don't seem to last very long. I could be in the minority there, but for me personally, not very long lasting. All right, from the Disney license collection, we have Haunted Mansion, three thumbs up. So for me, this is not a three thumbs up scent. It's probably not even a two thumbs up. It's about a one thumb up. It's okay. I don't love it. It says allspice, pumpkin, cinnamon, and ginger. I get a bread type note with this with, with almost like a flavored butter. I said there's a little bit of pumpkin in the butter and lots of spices, especially dried ginger. And it kind of soaks into the bread and you can kind of smell it. So this would be great as a mixer. In fact, I think I'm going to try mixing it because I don't love this one and I don't love fairy tale pumpkin. And fairy tale pumpkin is like a sweet blueberry candy like scent, like with licorice. I'm actually going to mix those two together in my overnight warmers just to see what I think. And if I don't like them, they're my overnight warmers, so it's no big deal. Overnight warmers for me, if you're new to my channel, that's another way I use up scents that I either don't like or are very, very strong and I want to kind of lessen their intensity. And the reason I have them is because our stairs have cur a curve to them. And if um, one of my two kids that live, <laughs> live upstairs, the other one lives downstairs on the main level. <laughs> but if they try to go downstairs to get a drink, I don't want them to wipe out. So that's why we have a couple of warmers just to light up that area at night. And yes, you can use warmers without wax. If you're curious, you can do that. So the next one we have is Cozy Cardigan. This is a really, really nice scent that I have worn before. And in a video recently, I made it sound like I've never warmed it. I've warmed it so long ago that I forgot how nice it was. And I do that all the time. So yes, and scents that are usually available in multiple lines are usually ones that are really high in scent appeal or a good seller. So if you see something like Cozy Cardigan available in lots of things, which it is, then you can rest assured it's probably a nice scent. So this is Soft Suede, Blushing Rose, and Amber Silk. It's a very pretty feminine scent. Yes, there's a little bit of like a slightly grounded note, but it's so nice. It's feminine and pretty and girly and calming. It's wonderful. So you get a little bit of the rose, but it's not like a strong overbearing rose. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This was a scent of the month for May, I believe. And this one is palm leaf, coconut water, and ocean breeze. And actually, let me just compare up to this. <clears throat> up is new. Yeah, up is a little more bright fruity. And this is a little bit more like sexy beach fruity. So this is really nice. And it has improved a little bit over time for me in terms of strength. I put this in my room. I put this in uh, my daughter's room, Ryan's room. And where else did I put it? I don't know. Anyway, I used up the whole bar, but but it was really great in the bedrooms. I wish I could remember where I put it. Maybe I put it in Erica's room twice. Yeah, I think I did. She likes, she's so picky that if I find a scent that she likes, I just kind of stick with it. But this was really nice and it, it really throws like out of out of the rooms. It's, it's quite nice. We have Hug in a Mug. This is an older bar, so I wanted to use it up. I think this was from 2018. Uh, it's hard to see. The, it's hard to see the date. 2018. Oh gosh, I can't see it, but I can see 2018. So pour dates are kind of inscribed, like imprinted in the plastic. So you can't see they're not colored or anything. But if you hold it at a certain light, sometimes you can pick them up. And there's a bunch of other numbers and letters there. So <laughs> it's kind of confusing to the brain. But this is basically like hazelnut, uh, chocolate and cookie dough. So this is really, really nice. I warmed this on Halloween and we got some compliments from the trick or treaters. We had a record number of trick-or-treaters at 15. <laughs> we we kind of live in like um, the outskirts of Halifax and, and there's, you know, the houses are spread far apart. So we're lucky if we get like 10 kids. So, but this year we had 15. Now I think uh, that I'm just going to grab a bar from over here because the other bar I finished for the month was Black Forest Pine. And this is scent of the month coming up for December. I actually have a video coming out on Tuesday for this. I haven't filmed it yet. Is actually warming in my TV room right now. I will say that it's doing quite well. Scent appeal is pretty good for me. And if you're a tree lover, I think you want to pick this one up. So Black Forest Pine. We've seen a lot of pine scents. I think, like, uh, what's his name? Dan. Dan probably bought an overabundance of pine oil. And now he's got to answer to Lacey. And so she's like, no more pine oil, no more pine oil. But Black Forest Pine. Stay tuned for that one. So I have an old packaging of Red Berry and Spruce. This is a Sense of the Season packaging from 2020. Really like this scent. It is lighter. It's pretty. It's kind of a sophisticated berry tree scent. It reminds me of Bee Mary, but fancier and prettier and more subdued. 
And I like it so much that I'm gonna pick it up in the room spray and maybe another bar of wax. I think I have one bar in my closet and I'll, I'll have two then, which will probably be plenty. Um, this this was one when I warmed it, I warmed it in my daughter's room, Ryan's room. I warmed it in their bathroom and somewhere else. <laughs> I can't remember. But after I did that, I, I thought I should have warmed it in my room to enjoy it. So I wanna make sure I have some more of that one. So the next one is Winterberry Apple Tea in older packaging. This one is a really great scent. I wish Scentsy would put this out in wintertime as a brick in the Scentsy Club. It would be really smart. I think this is cranberry, apple, winter tea, and honey. And this one, I didn't write the notes, but those are the notes in my brain. I'm not even sure what winter tea smells like, but I know what cranberry smells like and apple and honey. And honey is usually, ooh, but it's done really well here. Winter tea, don't let that scare you. This is one of those scents that a local down the street, she picked four bars out of a six pack and then she said, you pick the other two, surprise me. That is so much pressure. I don't wanna screw up and then do a bad job. So what did I give her? I gave her this and I gave her Bright Cider Life. So I thought those were two ones that get a lot of great feedback. So anyway, this is a really good one. If you haven't tried it and you're scared, it's got a little bit of cinnamon, but it's a really nice, pretty background cinnamon, but but this one garners a lot of compliments, so winterberry apple tea. Okay, I have all my notes written down here, so we're gonna move on. I think we've got them all done. Let's move on to retired scents. So the first one I'm gonna talk about, I don't have the notes because I didn't write them down. I just put this in the warmers this morning. It is Citrus Garden. This one was a retired scent of the month from back in 2017. This one smells like pink grapefruit. But the notes, ooh, it's strong. The notes really don't indicate that. They indicate like thyme and lime and lemon or something to that effect. I'll, I'll put them down below. But this one is pink grapefruit. I put it downstairs and we'll see if my husband comments anything because he doesn't like grapefruit scents and he usually gets a little dig in there. So as you guys probably all know, the loved ones in your life either comment if they love something or hate something. And, and sometimes then they don't say anything. They've become immune to the sensey bombardment. But we'll see if this gets a, a, com a comment. If it does, I will put down in the comments below that it did get a comment. But this is a strong one, it's very juicy. Not very long lasting, so it'll be a one day or down there for sure. All right, I wanna talk about this one because this one really did well for me and I don't think many people like this, but but I really like it. I wish I could get more, but I wouldn't stockpile it, but, but I wish I could get another bar. Bergamot Bay. I don't know, it says Bergamot, Juniper Berry, Bay Leaf and White Sandalwood. This was just a bright, uplifting, kind of herbaceous tree kind of inspired scent or something wintry. I, I really like this and it did quite well for me. So yeah, I like the Bergamot Bay. And this one I love, it's sheer leather. Now this one, I didn't enjoy the bar quite as well as I normally do. And I don't know why, just maybe it wasn't in the mood, but I put it in my melting basket. So <laughs> that was kind of dumb of me. This is Bergamot, Hint of Leather and Sandalwood. It's funny, you need to be in the mood for certain scents. Uh, this one is very, it, it com came across a little bit more grounded than I'm used to. I did try to actually mix it with Cozy Cardigan and this overtook Cozy Cardigan. So I do really like the scent. I have more of it. I'm just going to wait until I'm craving it and then warm it. This one is a guilty pleasure of mine. I don't think many people like this one either, but I really do. It is from the Fantasy Wax Collection, uh, Pixie Sparkle. And Heidi here on YouTube, she always says, she imagines dripping wax on her husband, which cracks me up every time. So yes, I'm not gonna go there. This is sparkling strawberry, vanilla marshmallow, and blush amber. I don't even know what those mean. I don't even know how to describe this scent. It is very odd. It smells kind of weird in the packaging, but in the air, it smells really nice. Almost like a more earthy version of like polar bear hugs. I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but I really like it. And thankfully, uh, I had a bunch of lovely people kind of donate, donate their bars to me, so I really appreciate that. Here I have Mocha Doodle. This is a retired scent. This used to be in the bakery, and it's got a lot of coffee influence, but it's got a lot of other things. So the notes are roasted coffee beans, cocoa, sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. So uh, this makes me think of my friend's house. Now that I've smelled this enough, it, I have a scent association with her, and, and it's not that she's not my friend anymore, I just don't see her anymore, but, but this makes me think of her. So it's funny, you do have scent association. But Mocha Doodle, it, it was okay. I left it going for about a day and a half in my big open area. It's definitely strong enough there, but, but it, it's not a boomer. All right, so then we have one of my favorite scents. This is a club scent for me, and it was discolored, but it still performed very well, although 
it was very hard to remove from the dish. It was very sticky and tacky and left a terrible residue, but I don't care. It is Plum and White Woods. Bring on the residue, because I love this one. It's Raspberry Preserves, Danson Plum, and Vanilla Orchid. And now, obviously, when we read those notes, we can imply that there's White Woods in here, too. So all those notes kind of combine to a slightly floral, fruity, woodsy, romantic, perfumey scent that lasts and lasts and lasts. So if you are someone that likes those kind of scents or you have tried sh uh, Shimmer, this is kind of along those lines. If you've tried this and you're wondering what Shimmer is like, Shimmer is a little more fruity and youthful, but, but they're both great. And I think if you like one, you'll probably like the other. So pick up Shimmer and the... Uh, bring back my bra that's coming in about a month month or a month and a bit all right I'm just going to briefly talk to you about a couple testers some of them are one set is new and one set is not new these are cinnamon bear I wanted to warm these because they're all the very older style testers so these are probably before 2015 so pretty old but they still did very well and uh, it's like a red hot cinnamon I think in the previous descriptions it said it had a little bit of clove so if you like cinnamon, you're going to like cinnamon bear. It's a red hot type though. And I put these two in just because I'm trying to use up some testers, kiwi fruit. These, these was a very perfumey, fruity scent. I don't remember getting as much perfuminess, almost like there's an amber in here. I will put the scent notes below. But yeah, it's very perfumey. These were very perfumey. I don't understand what's going on. Oops. And I did have to throw out some Sedona Sunset testers because... They were from around 2015, 2016, but they smelled waxy and they had just had zero scent, almost zero scent. And I was like, ugh. So I threw those out. And so sometimes routinely I do kind of go through and throw out ones because I was donated a whole bunch of testers to help with the Tester Tuesday. All right. I have three more scents to discuss. Let's talk about this one first. It is a Bring Back My Bar <coughs> Spice Grapefruit. It's very early in here in the morning. Uh, Mandarin, Bergamot. Spicy coriander, nutmeg, and allspice. So yes, if you don't like cinnamon, I don't really get cinnamon, but you get all the other spices. It's kind of like a bright, citrusy scent, grapefruit in nature, with like some beautiful, it's almost like, um, you know what a pomander is, but instead of that, imagine like a grapefruit, but some other spices too, so not cinnamon. So it's very bright. It, it, some people compare it to Wasail Wonderland, so they are kind of along the same family, but if you like one, you should definitely try the other. That's a, an old Bring Back My Bar. We'll probably see it come back at some point. Uh, Wild Black Cherry is from 2018, this bar, but, but it did return a few months ago. And it's one of my daughter's favorites. It says, sweet, juicy black cherry, just like an old fashioned black cherry soda. It's very strong. I put an Instagram post up. It would not be bus driver approved. <laughs> Too strong for them. It's very heavy and strong. It's kind of like a flat cherry scent. It's not airy or light. It's thick and heavy, saturates and fills the room. So if you like those kind of scents, definitely want to pick that one up and try. It would probably be great mixed with things if you find it too strong. And let's finish off with one of the most beautiful scents ever. I love this one. Love, love, love it. This one is in my club and is Marshmallow Mint. Now, to say I love this one is an understatement. The notes are buttermint, marshmallow, and amber. I'm just gonna briefly say that when I had this warming somewhere and I thought I had turned the warmers off, I was like, what's that beautiful smell? <laughs> smell something, I smell something wonderful. And it was marshmallow mint coming out of Drew's room. So Drew does get the brunt of some icky scents and I, I shouldn't do that to him because he can't tell me what he thinks. But I rewarded him for all those with this one because it's so, so nice and it's, in my home, it does fairly well. Some people say this is quite light. For me, it's definitely a medium. I love it. Two thumbs up, three thumbs up. All right, so before we go, let's do the question of the month. So what I wanna know from you guys is we're getting close to December. We have the December scent of the month and you'll, you'll be trying this soon perhaps, but I want to know from you, what is your favorite scent of the month from the whole year? So what I might do in maybe about two weeks time, I will put a community to post up and I will list all 12 cents and you can vote there. But start thinking and you maybe can put in the comments below which ones are your favorites. And if you have any experience, good or bad, with any of the scents I discussed today, please put it down in the comments. You may help another viewer. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post lots of content on a regular basis. I try to stay on top of things, even if it means filming at seven in the morning. <laughs> if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
And I'd like to wish you a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care and stay safe. And I will see you guys in the next one.